Yeah. No? Yeah. Yes. Woo -hoo. So we're going to start, and I just click where it says no. So, and before I start with water, I'm going to start with water because water is easy. But I'm going to start with something like uh, methane. You know, that was the second molecule that we saw, methane. Now, over here, you have, you have your elements, and you also have groups and rings. He's still playing with those molecules. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this down there? C S P two. And what is that? It's a carbon in what? What is S P two? The hybridization. Oh my goodness! It's telling you. It's giving you already the hybridization of the elements. So you see in here that you have different oxygens. So this oxygen is oxygen S P three. Everybody should know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> At least my students. <laughs> I see faces like, what? And then this is what? Oops. Oxygen SP2. Wow. OK. So oh, we were going to do methane. So I, for methane, of course, you have to do your Lewis structures first. You have to know what you're doing, right? Yes. So because then you don't know where to click. Even though sometimes you don't know where to click, sometimes it's, 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 uh, it's good because it tells you, uh-uh, you're making a mistake. So we're going to make uh, methane, and methane is carbon SP what? Three. SP3. So this is the one that I have already selected. And I'm just going to click. That's it. Whoa. Woo! And then, oh, but I don't see the hydrogens. Well, the hydrogens, by default, they're put by Spartan because they say, okay, when you have like an open single uh, bond, that means ah, there is a hydrogen over there. And so Spartan puts hydrogens in there. Now, you want to put the hydrogen when you just click on the hydrogen, and then you just go cleaning, tearing, tearing, oops, tearing, and tearing. Mm -hmm. And then what can you do? Oh, yeah, fine. So what? I still see it like in two dimensions. Well, not really, because I can rotate. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can move it like that. <laughs> I can make it small, if I don't want you to see it. I can make it big, you need glasses, right? Yes, yeah, so you can do all these wonderful things in there. Excellent. And then, um, we were talking about angles, right? So we're talking about angles, and we're going to check the angles. So I go over here, and it says angle. Yes, it says angle in there. Yeah. So I just click. And I want to say. Oh. <laughs> and you know what? gives you the geometry and the symmetry. That's DD. Start changing your language. Tetrahedral. OK, and then also give you the focal. Not for every molecule, because they just have a bank you know, of some molecules, and then not all of them they will have the distance, which is the bond length. So I'm going to click in here and in here. And in here, and it tells me the distance. Yeah. So I'm going to really check if it is true that all the hydrogens are the same. So I am going to check in here and this one. And is it the same? Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to check here and in here. And it is the same? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. OK. So um, then we were doing what? Oh, he undid it. Uh, the steric acid, and you know how long it took him? So what was, what was the steric acid? And I don't have a, a mark. Oh, yes, I do. You see? You see what? Or oh, you can just click it here. You don't want to uh, take the other one and just go new. Mm -hmm. And you have a new page. And in order to do that, I'm going to get my and carbon, I'm going to go, this is smaller, 
I'm gonna move it over here. And then I have also CH2. So I go one and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. 10. Keep counting because I don't have to count in English. What is not tricky? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, And then the last one, the last one has to be a carboxylic group. Okay. So we go over here and it says groups. You know what it says groups? You see my, my cursor, right? And then, yes, do I click here? Yeah, and so it's telling you where it's going to go. I can put it either this way or this way. I'm gonna put it right in here. Yeah, and then, that is really nice, uh, maybe. How long did it take me? Oh, you guys are faster than me and you click faster. Mm -hmm. So you just go click, 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 and because there are 18 uh, groups, then it will take you 18 seconds. Move <laughs> uh, in here. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a, I'm not gonna tell you what this is. So, uh, click in here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Do you know? It says right there. Yes. And then I calculate, I minimize. Mm -hmm. And then when I am minimizing, you know, I calculate my properties and all that. And then I go in with this, in this balloon where it says what is going on in here. And now it's running and now it's telling me the name. You see? Mm -hmm. And then it also tells you the total charge. Are there any ampere electrons? And this is the binding energy. Wow. Calculate the binding energy, weight, area, and all this goodies. So is this molecule polar? Oh, I really want to know. What is this here that for a moment? But where does it go? You know what? I'm just going to click in here. Wow. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> you see? And it tells you <laughs> if it is polar. Right? Oh, but you know, I wanted to see colors. That's okay. Let's go and see colors. Oh, but I don't see what is what. You know, I really don't see it. Okay, because then here you can change it to match. And then you can see which one has the largest amount of electron charge. Oh my, here, oh my gosh, here it is, right? And then you click in there and you see how much. This is this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and then here, and then you click in this one, right? So this is mostly um, neutral, and then here goes with the it goes positive in the blues, right in here, and then this is the negatives. Ah. Okay. Well, that's not all. Let me tell you, such a nice, wonderful thing about this. We click in here. And what is that? I asked. So you don't have even to prepare the sample and then press it and make it and make a whole line waiting for the instrument. Yeah. You just click. <coughs> Uh, okay, fine, fine, but the, I don't know the specs, what they are. Oh, well, let's find out. I click in here. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a carbon oxygen double ball, right? And uh, then I click in here. <laughs> and that's the carbon oxygen single ball. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs>